everyone, I am Dr. Amit Kumar, faculty of MBA department from Technia Institute of Advanced Studies. Today I am going to deliver a lecture on format of a business plan. The format of a business plan depends on its presentation context. It is common for businesses, especially startups, to have three or four formats for the same business plan. A business plan includes the following. Executive summary. It's a snapshot of your business. Next, company description. It describes what you do, means nature of your business. Next is market analysis. Research on your industry, market and competitors. Next is organization and management. It's all about your business and management structure. Next is service or product. It has the description of the products or services you are offering. Next is marketing and sales, how you will market your business and your sales strategy. Next is funding request, how much money you will need for the next 3 to 5 years. Financial projections, it includes supply information like balance sheets. And the last topic it includes is the appendix, an optional section that includes a resume and permits. The elevator pitch. An elevator pitch is a short summary of the plan's executive summary. It is often used as a teaser to awaken the interest of potential investors, customers or strategic partners. It is called an elevator pitch as it is supposed to be content that can be explained to someone else quickly in an elevator. The elevator pitch should be between 30 to 60 seconds duration. The pitch desk. The pitch deck is slideshow and oral presentation that is meant to trigger discussion and interest potential investors in reading the written presentation. The content of the presentation is usually limited to the executive summary and a few key graphs showing financial trends and key decision making benchmarks. If a new product is being proposed and time permits, a demonstration of the product may be included. A written presentation for external stakeholders is a detailed, well-written and pleasingly formatted plan targeted at external stakeholders. An internal operational plan is a detailed plan describe planning details that are needed by management but may not be of interest to external stakeholders. Such plans have a somewhat higher degree of candor and informality than the version targeted at external stakeholders and others. Let us consider an example. All of us must agree on the fact that the content and format of the business plan is determined by the goals and audience. For example, a business plan for a non-profit might discuss the fit between the business plan and the organization's mission. Banks are quite concerned about defaults. So a business plan for a bank loan will build a convincing case for the organization's ability to repay the loan, whereas venture capitalists are primarily concerned about initial investment, feasibility and exit evaluation. A business plan for a project requiring equity financing will need to explain why current resources, upcoming growth opportunities and sustainable competitive advantage will lead to a high exit valuation. So I hope you must have understood the topic format of a business plan quite well. Thank you very much.